Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. As you know from my last videos that I'm still on the hunt for the perfect camera backpack one bag, travel bag, weekender bag, work bag, laptop bag, and grocery shopping bag. And uh, that's why I picked up like so many backpacks just to compare them all and um, to show you guys as well like what my results are and uh, to see in the end which one I choose. Like that's probably what you want to see and that's also like what I'm looking forward to. Um, today we're going to talk about the PackSafe VentureSafe X40 I think that's the name. Um, yeah, PackSafe is a company um, and they make bags and wallets and uh, backpacks and like travel stuff um, with the purpose of uh, keeping everything super safe and they have their own security systems and um, uh, have their own technology integrated in these bags um, that makes traveling like much more safe and especially if you go to regions where there's like a lot of pickpocketing, pickpocketing a lot of thieves and like bad people and um, these bags will definitely keep your stuff safe and I'm gonna show you like around and tell you like what kind of features they have um, yeah as you know like my camera bag should have uh, a very good support system because I don't want to ruin my shoulder so that's why we should have hip straps um, we should have enough space for my laptop uh, enough eggs uh, enters to the camera stuff um, but yeah, I will show you that if this bag fulfills it all or in the end if I chose this bag or if I'm going to choose the other bag. Um, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, the outside of the backpack is, yeah, it's, it comes in a, in a bright blue, like Hawaiian blue. And uh, in this black um, color, um, yeah, I always like black colors because then you can wear whatever, the one, uh, whatever you want. Uh, with the blue, it's like you're just limited if you don't want to look like... I don't know, like a painting, yeah. So that's why I always stick to uh, black stuff. Um, actually, I like this shape a lot. It's 40 liters, so it has a little bit more liters than, for example, the F-stop uh, Lotus that we looked at with like 32 or 31 liters, and also the Tula. Um, I don't know how much the liters has, but it's like definitely smaller than this one. Um, this one, I think, is more travel orientated with also like a camera stuff, um, whether the, for example, the backpacks I'm going to show you like in the next videos um, they are more like backpack camera orientated um, yeah the outside it has like a really rough material like all the other bags as well that's why I chose them so like the outside is really good you know me I have no idea what kind of material it is um, it feels very good it feels solid it's probably not gonna gonna rip on you um, yeah, it all has the same material like around here, around here. Waterproof or like water resistant zippers. Um, all except of the back where the camera, uh, the back entrance is. But I think that's fine because like these ones are more important because the rain comes like from the top. So it's better that they're like water resistant. Um, yeah, the bottom is like a little bit a stronger material because you put it down, you put it in the dirt, you put it on the street. Um, it comes with a rain cover at the bottom. Um, I don't know, I never really use rain covers, um, but it depends where you are around and uh, maybe it's a good thing. It comes with the rain cover, so that's nice. Um, we have two water bottle pockets on each side and they're like huge. If you look at the video of pack hackers about this backpack, like they put like this huge nutrition, nutrient bottle like in here and it, it fits like yeah, it's, it's huge and it's a nice thing because you can not only use it for water bottles or you can also use it for like little stuff that you need like quick access. Um, so yeah, it's on both sides. Yeah, see I have the tag because this is probably uh, the one that I'm also gonna send back. Um, it has um, the straps so you can tighten it, cinch it down. You can also use these again like for tripods or like for gimbals or stuff that you can put in the side. The nice thing is that the bottom of the water bottle uh, compartment is like also like a stronger material because I don't like bags that 
also have like this stretchy material also on the bottom because then if you put like a, a gimbal like the feet of the gimbal sometimes they're like, like pointy and they might stitch through here so this is like done really really good um yeah so that's the material side of it and um, you see here like you have these little loops on both sides yeah and i think they're just like to put i don't know like again ice axes or whatever whatever you want to carry or like these walking sticks that's why you have like some oh yeah if you pull too hard it comes off completely and you have like these two velcro slings on both sides um so you can i think put your, like your walking sticks or outdoor stuff or you can just attach it um you have also have compression straps in the front um where you also can uh, put like uh, other tripod in the front or like a jacket or whatever whatever you want to carry and you see this symbol here it is a uh, a water like a water hose uh, what is it like a hydration bag compartment where the water hose can go outside here and then you can attach it to your to your system here uh, getting rid of this one um okay so let's look at the pockets like the pocket side of this of this backpack um so you can see in the front here it has a long pocket all the way down it's just a flat pocket um it goes all the way to the bottom and like you can put in like some magazines or whatever um some smaller stuff where you need like quick access to i always like these type of pockets i think they're really really convenient um just because you can like store so much shit like in the front here and it just like it holds a lot actually um then we have a front pocket here again with a super nice zipper like all these zippers are actually really nice if you open this this is like your organization compartment uh, so you have like a pocket up here which goes down like more than my hand so all the way my wrist uh, but i have small hands um, so you can probably fit in not so much uh, you can hold your key I'm not a fan, you know that. Uh, it always takes too long to take off your key, but it's like you can put something else. Uh, two pens uh, and like a, a pocket for your hard drive or like whatever you want to carry. Uh, on the other side, there's also a mesh pocket. Also just to hold some stuff. Yeah, I think that's also a nice thing. So you can exit it really fast and the pocket goes down also all the way to the bottom. And you can actually like store like a lot of stuff in here because it like bulks out. And then just remember if you put like a lot of stuff in this one, there's not so much space in the top one because it like pops out. Yeah, so these are the smaller pockets. Let's have a look at the main compartment. Yeah, the main compartment opens all the way around. Also nice water resistant zipper. It opens, I'm just gonna open like these side compression straps so it's easier access. And they zip up all the way down here. So like almost, yeah i would say more than half of the back and now you can like flap it over yeah and um here you see why this bag is like a 40 liter because it feels like very spacious it feels very very spacious and um, on the front of the bag you see here is like a a little stretchy thing and that's probably where you put like your hydration hydration stuff uh bladder in there or I saw on the on the website <clears throat> that you can also use this for your laptop if you want to slide your laptop in. But that's a topic that we're going to come on later. We'll talk about that. And you also have like this little Velcro thing because this is like where you attach to your bladder and it just hangs there so it doesn't fall all the way to the bottom. Um, yeah, now you see we have like a divider here. This is just with a, with a um, zipper like around here and then secured with a Velcro down here this is when you want to have access from the back and just have like your camera cube in there and if you want to have it separate so if you just want to exit your camera cube through the back and then say if i open in the front like i don't want to see the camera cube at all so i want to have things separately i think that's a nice idea um it comes out really easy you just zip it up and then you just pull it out so that's like this little piece and now you can see now you have like the whole whole bag like now you have the whole 40 40 liters ah uh, but this is not the whole 40 liters because it's divided by this this uh, big compartment and like the front stuff and that's also something that i want to talk to you about later because there's something i don't like so much about this uh, how they operate this 
Um, then on the back side, you see here is like a zipper. This is probably like for your camera related stuff, for cables or something. And there's a zipper down here, the same one. It's nice to have that to keep some organization. And one, one big thing is the frame. This backpack has an aluminum frame. And you know me, like you know from my previous videos, I love aluminum frames because it gives like so much stability to your backpack, even though if you load it like really, really heavy, it's like super nice because it just keeps the shape. And if you have hip straps, that this one has, um, you, can, um, you can carry the weight so much nicer. So this is a big, 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 big plus for me. Um, yeah, let's look at the opening from, is it the back, is it the front? I have no idea, so let's say the back. Also, super big beefy zippers. This is always important because this thing needs to like, it has a lot of, a lot of pulling pressure and everything. They zip down all the way. And they open. So now you have like this thing, like a bullet hole in your backpack. Um, it's like a lay flat system. Um, the thing is with these systems, yeah, there are some backpacks that open to the side. These ones open to the to the back, uh, like also the F-stop uh, Lotus. Uh, I'm not such a big fan of this thing because like it doesn't fold so nice. So it always comes like after a while, it always comes like up and tries to close itself. So this would be nice if they would have like a bigger, I don't know, like a bigger corner or like this is like really, really solid. And that's why I always will like, like when you want to pull something out. Um, yeah, so that's the opening. Um, I'm just gonna close this up again so we can see if you want if you want to use the camera cue, which one you should use and how it looks. Um, but before that, let's have a look quick about the carrying system because that's like a really big thing. Uh, if it carries good, then you have a good time. If it carries bad, then you have a really bad time. Um, as I mentioned, um, this one has hip straps and they have uh, like a little pocket here on the side. Um, on this side, it's just a, a molly attachment system. So you can put like other stuff like little pouches or something. I don't use this, um, but this one is probably like a nice thing to use. Um, you can put like little, little stuff that you need on the way. Um, the shoulder straps are like really comfortable. They're not the, 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 the thickest padded ones, um, but I think, I think they're enough like for 40 liters, like of course you can pump this thing up, uh, but they do a, a solid job. Like it feels, it feels fine uh, to carry this thing. Also has a sternum strap, um, which is also nice. The, this one is not detachable, which is always a, a bad thing because sometimes I don't want to use it and this one doesn't give me any, any option. And it also has like these load lifters things, like where you can, I don't know, get the, the top of your backpack like closer to your back. Um, that is also a nice thing. Just one thing I don't like about this is like, look how long they are. Like they just, if you wear this thing, like they just dangle in your face all the time. That's like something that is really, really annoying. I know you have like these little, these little elastic things, but that's something I don't like. Like if they're, if they're so long, it's like annoying thing. You don't need them so long. Like how far do you want to push this thing? You want to push it like over your head or what? Like this is, yeah. Some of the little things about this backpack that I don't like. So this is definitely one of them. Uh, you have these little rings where you can uh, attach some things on both sides. Um, and yeah, the hip straps are insanely comfortable. Like they're really insanely comfortable. Also the back uh, is like super padded and uh, it will also give enough protection for your, for your camera uh, cube. Um, yeah, it just has like a beefy, a big uh, closer. I don't know how to call this, yeah, a closer. Um, yeah, let's just look at the protection side of this thing quick. Um, maybe I'll just use this plant as a demonstration because now you think like, wow, there is like no protection. You didn't show us any protection yet. Yeah, that's like now to come, it's like hidden. So you can close all of the zippers by lock. Okay, that's a nice thing. They're like all lockable. So you can put a lock in between. Um, but you can also like quick close, quick close, I don't know, quick close them. Um, because in the top here, there's like a little hook, like a little clip hook, yeah? And you can just add like these zippers to this hook. 
So now if somebody like is standing behind you, like in the, I don't know, the metro station, and they're like, oh, like, let's see what he has in this backpack. Like, you cannot open it. Like, and it's a hassle. Like, you need to put the back down. You need to like get this out. And um, that's like a really a good mechanism for pickpocketing. I'll tell you this, this is insanely annoying if you do it all the time. Like, if you go outside your door, outside the apartment, is like, oh yeah, maybe I'll just protect myself. You will regret it. Like, this is, oh, it's like always, if you need to get something from your backpack, like, oh, I have to open it again, close it again. But I think for some situations, like if you travel, I'm not gonna say like where, but if you travel somewhere and you need it, it's, it's a nice thing to have. And um, so this is like for the big, big opening. And um, you also have the same thing. Uh, I, uh, sorry, this was like for the small opening. The big opening is the same mechanism just here on, on the side. It has like a clip and this is where you put like these big zippers and you can close it as well. As well. Then uh, next scenario, um, you're sleeping somewhere in the train. Yeah, if you're like on a, on a big travel and like you use a night train to go from A to B. Um, and uh, yeah, you just want to take a, a quick nap, um, but still want to secure your backpack. Um, they have a, a mechanism in their strap, in their backpack strap here on the side. And it's only on one side, yeah. So you can take this thing off. There's like a little clipper down here. Yeah, I already have the mechanism inside. So there's like a little clipper. You can open this. Uh, it's just on this side, it's not on the other side, so just on this one. And then you can put your backpack like around, let's say a pole. I hope I don't drop this thing now. And now you close it again. And now at this zipper down here, you have a little locking mechanism, yeah? So you just turn it, and now it's like locked, you cannot open it. And for most of the situations, yeah, people will be like, okay, yeah, let's open this. Uh, I cannot open it. Oh, maybe he wakes up and he's gonna beat me up or like shoot me in the head. And um, so I'll just leave that, yeah? So this is already enough. I don't know why PackSafe writes like uh, instruction for this on the mechanism. That's something I don't know, like this is just like a turning mechanism and if this is your backpack, you should be like, you should know how this thing works. You don't have to like write it right on the safety mechanism, how this thing works. That's just something, all right. Uh, I don't know what kind of like customer uh, complaints they already have that they forgot how this works, but I don't know. I think this is a very unnecessary thing. Um, but in total, I think this is a cool feature and uh, I've, I heard that these um, these straps are also like, I don't know, slash cut uh, proof so um, that it actually makes sense. You cannot like just get it out because it's like a, a thick, a thick leather, is it leather? No, it's like plastic. So you can just not get it out. So it's like a, a safe, a safe thing. Okay, so we have the backpack saved to a object. We have all the zippers saved. The only zippers that we cannot save is the back one. Like you can put a, a big lock like through it as, as well, but they don't have like a um, like a quick saving thing. I, I mean, you can use you can maybe use the thing from the side here and attach it to the back, but then you're not attached to the front. So like one thing is open, but this is mostly the, the thing you you carry on your back, so it should not be a problem because uh, I don't know how sneaky you have to be to get stuff out of there. Um, yeah, and there's one thing more. That's why this bag, well, actually it's pretty light, yeah, but it like, you can feel that it's like good quality and that it has something in there. And one thing that PackSafe does is they have like a, a, a thing called, um, I think it's called Exo Mesh. That's why I are here. It's like, that's why there's the X. And it's like a, you can think about it. It's like a, um, like a, um, a fence, like, you know, these, these fences, like where sometimes people like shoot photos through and like mask everything out and blah. They have like a fence like an aluminium or metal fence um, through here and like you can feel it like if you use this thing like here are like these little things so that should just prevent people from slashing with a knife opening your your backpack but honestly like if somebody tries to open your backpack with a knife I don't know I think the last the last problem is is that he maybe steals some of your bubble guns and then maybe you have other problems um, so this is a feature yeah People pay for this. Um, I think it's a bit over overkill, but um, yeah, that's just a strategy from PackSafe, and I think it's good, like because I think there's not not so many other brands that um, take care of this problem. So this is a yeah, it all comes in the whole safety package, but it's really light. It's really good materials. Um, the only thing also from the carrying system that I don't like is like if you wear it. 
watch out that I don't kill the lamps. It's like if you wear it and you cinch it up. And you will see if it's like really full and your hip straps are like closed. Then I don't know, I think this thing in the in the in the top um it sticks out like a lot and I don't think that looks so nice. Um it's hard to show now, but like this thing is like really high, yeah? This thing is really high and it like sticks up in the back of your head and that's something I don't like so much. Yeah? But they probably had to do it because of the whole shape and everything. All right, then let's have a look at what kind of camera cubes we can use for this. And again, I have the two camera cubes that I think most of the people would use for this. Um, so I have, of course, the pack safe one. And this is the medium one. Um, I don't know, like for my gear, like I have small gear, you know already. Um, I could also use the S, but I don't know, like I don't want to buy two S or later if I want to like take a drone or something. So I just get the, the M. I think this one is really good. You heard it in my F-Stop uh, Lotus review. Like I like this one more than the actual F-Stop um, ICU um, because it's just like more padded and everything and it doesn't like get fuzzy. Um, so this is made for this backpack. So you can use this backpack as a, now shut it away, as a complete travel backpack. Yeah, and fill it up just with your, like your travel gear or something. But you can also use it as a camera travel backpack and that's why I ordered it because I wanted to see it. So let's look how the bag, the ICU fits inside. You just open it. It like opens really wide, that's a nice thing. You just sling this thing underneath. Now you just tuck it in. So like this. I just have to watch out that I don't rip down the tags because I need to send I need to send this one back, yeah, because I'm not taking this one. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm not taking this one. This is a great bag, yeah. I give you all the features that are like really awesome, and for many people, this bag would be the perfect bag. But just for me. You'll see there's something that I don't like and that's why I'm taking an other bag which I already know but you don't and um, But you'll see it in the future reviews of my camera backpacks um, Okay, so the ICU is inside you just flip these around You open this Yep, yep, yep You flip it down of course in the, in the beginning you have to press it down a bit and you see now here's like a little bulk yeah this is because the rain cover so you can also take the rain cover out if you don't need it um, because it all, will always push your ICU um, up a little bit so this is the medium one and you see you have a lot of space up here yeah for your other other stuff um, the aluminium frame I don't know it's like it squeezes I don't know if you see it but it squeezes the ICU like on the side it has like a weird shape I don't know why PackSafe used like this type of shape because for example, the F-Stop Lotus has like a other shape and it doesn't interfere with the ICU. So I would uh, prefer if it has like a straight aluminum thing. So this is like something that I'm not, you see here the corner is already like really like tucked in and stuff. And that's something I don't like. It feels some, somehow that the ICU doesn't fit 100% for this backpack, even though like this is like, it fits together, yeah. Um, so that's something that is not so convenient. Um, but yeah, it's nice. It's like, it's really cool that you can use your camera stuff with this backpack and use it as a travel backpack because it's 40 liters. So this is like uh, ideal backpack. Like if you want to use it for this purpose, um, yeah, you close it. And now I'm going to show you how much space you still have for your other stuff. Um, one more thing that I told you at the Lotus one, the F sub Lotus, um, it's nice if you can tuck these hip straps yeah if they are if you cannot take them off it's nice to if you're able to just tuck them on the back so they're like out the way and that you're still able to open open this thing because i told you some other bags um like they're attached inside yeah and then you cannot open them when they're like if you cannot open the compartment when they're like tucked on the back so that's like something i don't know i don't know why they do it but this one is good they've done really good and um no problem at all all right, so let's have a look for the big compartment and how much space you have. So we open it all the way. And now you can see you have quite a lot of space up here. Yeah. So if you close it, you can see quite a lot of space. There's one thing I'm going to show you quick. I also have like my travel stuff. 
All right, this is again, uh, like, because this thing should be ready to go like on a three day travel to a other city or something and it should hold all my clothes. So again, like three undies, uh, three pairs of socks, um, another big long shorts, uh, long pants and uh, three t-shirts and a sweater. So this is like what I need my backpack to fit. And you already see, or you already guessed it, it's gonna be a hard fit, but it does, it does fit, yeah. So that's a, that's a good thing. Toiletry bag, like I just have like, I don't know, I don't even know what I have in here. As long as there's like a toothbrush in here, you can put it in the front. And you see, you still have like a lot of space. That's why the 40 liters come in, come in handy. Um, but I am not such a big fan if you have like two different compartments. Like I prefer it as the F stop Lotus that you just have like one big compartment and you can just organize this stuff with like little pouches or something. With this, because it's like divided, like I don't know, three and one or something, um, you're always limited because you cannot put like en endless uh, big size items in here because then it like interferes with the front and you always have to like took something, tuck something in here and in here. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this, but this one holds the stuff. All right, so till now, everything good. Yeah, it has a good uh, like carrying system. It has a, a convenient ICU thing. It has like uh, waist straps. It has um, like safety features, which like for me is not so important, but it, it has safety features. The price is also okay. Like this thing, I got it for 166 uh, euros, um, which is compared to the F sub Lotus or something, it's like a really nice price. And it's like all inclusive, like with the waist straps, with the carrying system, just the ICU you have to get separately. Um, but this one is like 48 or something euros. Um, so it's like a good price back, but before the quality, for the frame, for everything that it has. But there is now one major problem. And the one problem is that I want to use this one also as my office bag. So it needs like a really good space for my laptop. Yeah. And you will see that's the big problem with this one. I'm going to get my laptop. Because always when I have a backpack that has no like dedicated laptop space, like no padded laptop thing, um, I always want to carry like my 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro, like in a separate like cover yeah just to for some protection i would never just throw it in here because like then all the corners and stuff are not really protected and you will see uh, if i fit it behind the medium icu yeah like i already have like a really hard time squeezing it in and because i have like the wash, wash pouch in the front it already squeezes on my on my macbook yeah and this is horrible like i don't know like if you have ever done this like to shove your macbook like into a very small space yeah this doesn't feel good at all and now if like this thing was on top or something like you have a hard time getting out like your macbook pro if you don't use any protection yeah it's easy because it just slides in and slides out but i would not recommend it because like if you drop it too hard like you think is this thing is broken and that's like your life like my it's my life basically and that's why the, la the backpack is not like i don't know thick is it thick is it wide is it i don't know like this size is just a tiny bit too small to fit your 15 inch macbook pro with a cover behind the icu it fits yeah but it's like hard and like also when you close it up you see it on the sides it's it's a tight squeeze and that's why i'm not choosing this backpack what you can do maybe to help out yeah is if you choose not the pack safe ICU if you choose maybe the F stop ICU because you remember the F stop ICU this is the medium but it's like slow so it goes yeah sorry guys I had some serious battery issues again with this camera like overheating and it just like sometimes stops recording uh, for no reason and I don't really see it straight away um, so I don't really know how far we've been because I couldn't like watch it all through um, but I just think I just showed you what like the big flaw was with the computer not fitting behind the ICU. Um, yeah, and to show it again, like even with the ICU of the f stop with the medium shallow, let's get it back in here. Yeah, normally you would think, okay, now maybe I have some more space in the back, um, but it's still like, it's not enough. Like this, 
MacBook Pro 15 inch with the protection thing, like it fits hard, like, and you can like hardly get it out. And I don't even want to know like if this bag is like filled up a bit more, um, it's going to be even tighter. Like it's going to be so tight here. And it's uh, like, it's always a hassle like to get your computer out and like put it back in and everything. Um, otherwise this bag would be like a sick backpack. Like it's super good. Like it would fulfill all my purposes. Um, just for another recap, like it has a super good carrying system with like waist straps and like comfy, comfy shoulder straps. It has an internal frame, which is lit. Like that's like the best thing ever. Um, it has a uh, water bottles, which is nice. It has nice compression straps. So you can strap all this shit, that, uh, all the stuff there. Um, it has a little organization thing. This is my, for my thinking, unnecessary that you divide like the big pocket into like, like one bigger one, one smaller one. And this would be nice. It would just be like a big loading pocket and just like a tiny little organization. This is too big for my, yeah, for my likings, um, but it's fine. Like it's still, it's still okay. Like nice water resistant zippers. Everything is done well, like really done really good. Um, the material is really nice and the, all the safety, safety, -ish, uh, safety features is, yeah. If you're looking for something like this, you will probably get an orgasm if you get this bag and you can like, attach it to everything like oh yeah i'm just gonna i don't know take a quick nap i'm gonna attach it like if you like this type of stuff this bag <laughs> has you covered like i bet that like in some occasions i would use it as well um but for me it's like a bit too much uh, exo mesh uh, safety also nice slash proof um so yeah all in all this bag is super good it just lacks like one little thing and that's a big thing for me because it's like i want to work with it and everything and so i need to uh, get it out all the time like if I go to a cafe or somewhere uh, in the train in the in the plane maybe sometimes um, So this is like a no-go for me. So this doesn't work. That's why I'm not taking the backpack um, And that's why I will tell you in the next review Which backpack uh, I finally chose I'm gonna make a review about this backpack and then in the end I'm gonna have all the backpacks that I review now and I'm gonna put them next to each other and I'm gonna tell which feature is the best on which so that you guys maybe you're looking for the same thing like i am because yeah i just read like in a lot of blogs and everything and reviews things that like actually a lot of people are looking for the same stuff that i'm looking for like a solid backpack you can use for travels you can take your camera shit with you you can use it as an office bag um, you can use it for every day so literally you just need one backpack in your life like i have a ton of backpacks but maybe I'll get rid of some because now with my new one, it's like it covers basically everything that I need. And um, yeah, maybe there are some some guys out there that say this backpack is the right thing for me. I need all the safety features. I can use everything. So guys, I hope I could help some of you. And um, yeah, just come with me on the journey and like see which backpack I chose. And um, yeah, hope you're excited. All right, guys, take care. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.